Okay, good morning. So we're up to Simon Ayan Reish Hay, which is 275. Again, he changed the order. It shouldn't spell Ra. Um, Sif, uh, Sif Gimel. In, so we're talking about the prohibition. Chazal made a takana that you can't do, you can't read Le'er Haner. Uh, the concern is that you might come to sort of tamper with the wick, with the oil, and there are issues of Mechaber and of Mavir, etc. However, we said yesterday that if uh, you appoint a Shomer, that would be that would be okay, and that in fact is what we say in Sif Gimel. This is the, where we're starting now, Sif Gimel. Im yesh acher imoy. If there is another person who's going to sort of you know will watch him and will, will stop him from doing this, afidu ena kaira. Even if the other person is not reading, va'im alai ten daitcha alai shelo eta. Keep an eye on me that I shouldn't uh, utter, I shouldn't touch it. Then muta. That would be okay. Vuadin im oma ken leishta, and his wife can also be a shomeres. Uh, in this respect, says Mishnah Bura Sifkatan Yud, Va'omelai, Dafka Ba'omelai. He's got to actually instruct him to do this. Avil Bastoma, but just to assume that he will stop him, that's not good enough. Afiru Yesh Bnei Bayes Harbech, Hashin Shelo Yashkichu, Yashkichu Alav, Fiyav Lahatos. The concern is that uh, they'll just ignore his tampering and he might still touch us. He's got to actually instruct them to uh, to keep an eye on him. Uh, even his wife can be a Shemeris. Why? Well, what does it mean there? You know, she's she's uh, she's close enough. She won't uh, she won't keep an eye, and she won't observe it. Um, she just she won't sort of stop him from doing it. Kamash uh, Malon, that he can ask his wife, and she can be the Shemeris to, to allow him to read from this uh, oil lamp. Um, and uh, she can be a good shemeres. Okay, Dalit. Adam Chashuv she'in darka b'chol lahatus mutzah b'chol gavna. If you have an Adam Chashuv, who he, he's not really involved in these sort of uh, um, mundane activities of, of changing the light bulbs and the lamps and things like that, then mutzah b'chol gavna. However, we don't really have an Adam Chashuv in this respect today, as the Mishnah is going to explain. Pirush shebaru hu she'in darka af be'is halimud. We, we, we know for sure. That this Adam Chashav is not going to tamper with the wick when he's learning. Because even Adam Chashav will be involved in this. So this is Because remember, the Gemara says in Rabbi Shmuel ben Elisha, In this respect, he made himself like a hedget because uh, he he would actually he would actually involve himself in in, uh, in the light. Nowadays, we don't allow this heta, if you like, of an Adam Choshev. Uh, we says the Taz, you know, and remember, in his day, this is pre-electricity. And this is how the world was until 100 years ago, or whenever it was. You know, the Chaim Oizek Wojcicki would make Havdallah with an electric uh, element because he wanted to show everyone that electricity is proper ish. Um, certainly, midaraisa with an element in those days. Now we use fluorescence; it could be a different shaila. But um, but to use, uh, so he wanted to show everyone. But, but before Chaim Moezer died in 1940 or 41, so before him, he, this was in the 1930s, let's say. Before that, everyone everyone was using that. So the Taz says that we see that even great people they would be matel, they'll be moichet the the wick, and therefore it is a concern. If, however, you're using a wax candle. Then there could be a heter of Adam Choshev who wouldn't tamper with it. Okay, Sif uh, Sif Hey says the Shulchan Aruch. But Medura Afilu Asara Echad Afilu Asara Be Keechad Ein Kerin. When you got a Medura, which means you got a very large lantern where there's a very big fire, like a bonfire, then even if you got a lot of people there, Ein Kerin. Mishum Dehayel V'Yeshin Ruchaykim Zemazer. Because imagine like a camp bonfire, you're sitting a lot of people there, and everyone's sitting quite far away from each other, and therefore they won't notice. When you've got the sort of the, the threads and the, the pieces of wood, um, when, when, when what you're doing on the other side, I can't quite see. So therefore, there's no heta when it comes to a Madura, a larger fire. Says the Mishnah Yud Gimel. Even if they're all doing the same thing, they're all singing from the same script or whatever, uh, or, or reading, that... Um, that would be okay. If, however, he, you know, you're sitting with the, next to this Madura and you tell a person, please make sure that I don't touch any of the, the strands of wood, 
then that would lechera be okay. Um, okay, lahaver lachatois because of ataz nearly the afal pi shemutzel hischamim neged hamadura. You're allowed to sit there and to get the warmth of this fire. However, you can't do what what is also over here is reading close or close activity next to the fire. <laughs> you shouldn't sit next to the ends of the of the strands of wood. The concern is you might touch them. That they burn better. As people do that. And others are worried. No, they're not worried about that. If you're just sitting there just to get warmth, they're not worried you sitting too close and you tampering with it because you're not doing any close activity. You're just sitting there to get the warmth of the fire. Okay. Um, okay, good. Weiter. Uh, Vov. Tinoika shall base rabbon. When you have school students, Kairin uh, they are, are they are allowed to read by an oil lamp. They're not going to dare touch the oil lamp because they are petrified of their Rebbe. How times have changed, huh? Uh, says the Mishnah Bura, Sivkotn Tezvov, Sheimas Rabon, Shein Poishtin Yad, Lushum Dovo. They're not going to touch the lamp. Fafila Bechol, even on the weekday, Ella uh, Alpi Rabon, it's the Rebbe who's going to control the lighting in the room. Velay Osila Tsule, and they're not going to, to touch it. Uh, if you look at the 27, what about a child with a father? He says, well, Ben Etzel Oviv, if a you know, father and son are learning together and you've got the oil lamp, is that, is that okay? So Kostas, he says, It's not the same. Because the commission was seen in the Gemara, it's not the same. Because the commission was seen in the Gemara, but a child will be more, more relaxed in his father's company and therefore he may well come to touch the lamp. And therefore, there would be a problem. So therefore, you've got to instruct, you know, they've got to instruct each other. Okay, Umashma, carrying on the Mishnah Burah, Umashma, Mestima, Sashul, Chanarach, Shasovah, Karashba, Da'afilo, Ein, Rabban, Imohen, Shari. Not only that, even if the Rebbe isn't there, all the school kids are, are just sitting in the Cheda, uh, it would be okay. To call Shah, Mishyar, and Shayav, Rabban. Even if the Rebbe isn't in the room yet, they're worried the Rebbe may come in the room and they wouldn't, they don't want to be caught to, by touching the light. Yatin, they won't come to Tampa. And they say that if the Rebbe is out of the room, then there would be a problem for them to use the oil, to read too close to the oil lamp, or, or in a room where there's an oil lamp, uh, because um, because they may tamper if the Rebbe is not there in the room. Then they're cholik with the Rashba. Okay, Zayn. Because in this sermon, we suddenly are worried that they'll play with it. But previously we saw that... No, we, we're not... You know, previously we saw that they shouldn't... We say we, this. This is this new halacha. The Tinoikas have got the aim of the Rebbe, and therefore we're not worried about them, and therefore they would be allowed. With the with the Talmidim. Yeah, but th- this is a special rule when it comes to Tinoikas shall base Rabban because they've got aim of Rebbe, they've got the fear of their Rebbe coming in, and therefore they're, we're not cheshish. They're going to they're going to be mutter the the wick or they're going to tilt the lamp. They're just this is a, this is a special halacha. Okay, Zayin. You know, when you're reading that means that parak in Mishnah of Shabbos, which deals with the prohibitions of which wicks you can use and can't use and the prohibitions of all these things. That Because the reason why you can't use certain wicks is because you might come to, to tamper with it. So that itself is a reminder. You know, Eich Yishkach. Says the Mishnah Buru Tezayin, Mash Madavka Bamemadlikin. Because there it's dealing with the various prohibitions of, uh, of lighting. It's not a sort of a blanket heter to learn Hilcha Shabbos. It's specifically Bamemad Likin, which deals with Issa Hadloka. So if you look at 28, it's interesting, Ha'ara. He says, It's talking about the Mishnais in Bamemad Likin. He's the source of this halacha. But learning the Gemara that in the second paragraph of Bamad Likin, for example, you know, the, the, all the Hanukkah Gemara comes in Bamad Likin, I think. So, so you might think, you know, I, fantastic, I can learn the sugyas of Hanukkah because it's Bamad Likin. So the answer is no, it's only the Mishnahis that deal with Issa Hadloka. The Das Hagon of Nisan Karelis, he adds, She'en likre l'aranel, la suges ha'oiskas b'n yoni hadlokas aner. V'chei mut l'ilmoid in yoni hadlokas aner, she'n b'shulchan aruch. So it's, it's not just the Mishnahis of Bamei Madlikin that deal with Issa Hadloka, it's the Gemaras and the Shulchan Aruch which deal with these halachas. that would be allowed, because if you're learning these halachas, that itself is, is a deterrent. 
But to other, you know, Gemaras and Mishnahis that don't deal specifically with Isad Loka, that would not be covered by this. Okay, Ches. Uh, so similarly, you are allowed to read uh, on the night of Yom Kippur from Machzorim because the Amos of Yom Kippur, the fear and the, and the, the sort of the heaviness of Yom Kippur, that itself is going to be the deterrent. Okay, Siftes. Lel Pesach Shechol Yos B'Shabbos. When, when Yontif, uh, the Pesach, Seder night is on Shabbos, Mutzalikris Haggadah B'Sefer. You're allowed to read the Haggadah from a Sefer, from a, from a you know, Haggadah. Mishum Dehavah Ke'en Roshe Prokim. Because it's, you're allowed to read headings, title headings, but not the small print. Why? Everyone is we're so familiar with Agada, so therefore it's like reading Rashi Prokim, and therefore that would be allowed, and it's not caught by this Issa. Says the Mishnah Bur Yudzain, the Ein Amaretz, the Imhu Amaretz Shiloh Me Oilam. If he really is an Amaretz, the Ein Shagam B'Fiv Klal Beli Sidur, and he can't do the Agada at all without a Machsa, without a without a Agada, the Ein Leisham Shum Adam Shevakshev Sheyitin Daitei. And there's no one else there who's going to tell him, don't touch the lamp. You should be You know, you got to, you got to weigh up. On one hand, if you tell him not to read, then it's not going to be Makai in the mitzvah of Sippus Yes Mitzrayim, in Vigata Labindcha, etc., which is, you know, that is a mitzvah the rice on Seder night of, of telling the story. And therefore, we, we, if a person would not be able to do it otherwise, then Mistoma will make us as Mishabura. Ktas, uh, what is that going on? Uh, yeah, we're not, we, everyone is familiar somewhat with the with 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 the Lusuch of the Haggadah. And with Tamzeh, that someone comes to shul early on Shabbos morning, or you know, it's still dark, and he's learning there next to the oil lamp, which was burning from last night. His, his davening on Shabbos morning is more familiar to him than the yearly Haggadah Pesach, of a limoid shop also. So therefore, to, to daven there from a siddha would be allowed, but to learn would not be allowed, because, you know, you've got a kvetch on every single word in Russian tosis. So therefore, that would need more close inspection. Yud. Harav yochel liros l'erhaneh, mehecho nikra tinoikos. The Rav, the Rebbe, can, can use his, can look in his sefer, to see where they're up to so he can teach the children. And to organize the sort of which page they're up to. But the rest of the parasha he does al peh. The Roshi parashas lav dafka. And it's lav dafka that he's allowed to look at the Roshi parashas. And anything that you know about peh. Or and you just have to look in from here or there. Sorry. So for example, you know, you're learning a tesis with the kids or gemara. And you pretty much know it, but you've got to just look occasionally just to remind yourself of the Nusukh, that would be allowed. You're not constantly reading the Sefer. Is there care of Therefore, you're not going to come to be Matya. Okay, no Mishnah Bro on that. See if you'd If you've got Kalim which look quite similar, for example, you, know, you're, 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 you want to set the table and you've got a tray of knives and forks or big knives and small knives. And it needs close inspection to differentiate between the various kalim. Similarly, you're not allowed to inspect them. You're trying to choose between your clothes and your wife's clothes. Let's say your shirt and your wife's blouse or something. To, do, to make that inspection is a problem. <laughs> says Mishnah Bura Yutes, V'tzorich Iyun, B'Rambam Issa, V'tzorich Iyun Rav. It needs very close inspection. V'ayme Be'halacha, D'yesh Lismei Chalzeh, L'fnei Ner Shal Shaiva V'chelev, this would be allowed with an, a wax or a, or a, or a fat, or a, an animal fat candle. To belav hachi yesh mekinim, because we, as we said before a few times, that there are those who are makele generally when it's not uh, proper, proper oil. For chanal basif cotton tes, dalit. Okay, good. Uh, yud base. Shamash she'en kavua. If you've got a shamash, uh, a butler, a, a, a masharis, someone who's, who's working in your house, she'en kavua. He's not a permanent one. He's just sort of a temporary one. He's not so familiar with your kalim, and therefore he can't uh, check the various cups and the kaaris to make sure they're clean. Uh, regardless of the source of the of the energy of the of the oil of if it's neft pirush min zefes 
Lavon Verechira. It's some sort of uh, how do you say Zephes um, tar or something. So that uh, pitch that you that it's got a bad smell. Sha'ere Rav, but it does produce a very strong light. The Yesh Matirin Bishal Neft, some people permit if it's if the source is made out of neft, Afida Bashamash Eno Kavua. Okay, let's just do the Mishabura till that point. Livdaik Rotza Sifkot and Chav, Livdaik Rotza Lema, Livdaik Bukaisus Hadom in Zelazer. You're checking the various cups. Veleda Eze Mehen La Nichal Ashuchon. Which ones am I going to put on the table? Veshamash Eno Kavua, Eno Makir, and Vetzorach Lazer, Eon Harbe. Someone who's not so familiar with all your Kalim, that you'll need a lot of Eon, uh, a lot of, uh, of inspection. Al Kain Chashin and Shemiyata, and therefore there is the concern that he might come and tamper with the wick with the oil. The runner understands that it's not a question of d- determining which kalim to use, but like I said before, to check which ones are clean. The shamish kavua, but if, however, you've got a regular shamish, he'll know either which kalim to use, or according to the run, which ones are clean and which are not clean. Sha'ire rav says Mr. Brachafalov, Rotzolema, Afapi Sha'ire rav, the neft, even though it provides a lot of light. You're still concerned that you'll come to tamper with it. Because we're talking about a temporary shamash. Bishal uh, Neft says the Bura, time on the reason is the the reason why the the, the remor it brings Yesh Matir and Bishal Neft is because we're not really worried you're gonna to touch it. You don't need to increase the light because without this anyway it's very bright. Well and we're not worried whether you're gonna come and take from the neft because 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 it's moist, it's disgusting, it's, it smells terrible, and you're not, no one's going to take that. However, for Shemin Zayas, for Chaim Bashar Shmonim, but other oils and olive oil, the Kula Alma Osa, everyone agrees that's Osa. But Eisat Zorich Yishlis Mechadezu, because you might come to take some of that oil, and therefore Eisat Zorich, we we can be makel that uh, to allow the shell neft. Okay, good. Let's just finish off the simon. Um, just the last line of the, of the Shulchan Aruch. We're the penultimate line at the end. But if you've got a permanent shamash, he's allowed to inspect. Like we said, and if it's an olive oil candle, we don't, know if he comes to us, we don't tell him, we don't pass him and say it's mutter, even though technically it is, maybe he'll come to take some of the Shemin Zayis. says the Ramon, you are trying to make sure that the children are not undressed in front of the Neiris, Mishum bizu mitzvah, the Nehra Shabbos, because it's a bizu mitzvah, the king Kosov Harukeach. Okay, it says in the Mishnah Bura, Chof Gimel, the Ur Hane, Shel Nef, to Linian Shad Hashmenim, I'm a Be'alocha. Sheena Tsorchian. Because um, the, the, the Kaisas don't need a lot of uh, close inspection by this, by this Shamash Kavua. It says in the Mishnah Bura, Vafagav, the Afilu Lahafkin Bain Begod of the Big Day Ishte Osru, they, they did us that, Hoche Hitir Mishum Nekius. Because you want to have a clean uh, uh, kalim that they allow. Sif kotan chafei ein merin lei. So if the, even the shamash kavua comes and asks you, can I do this with shem and zayis? We we don't pass on that you should tell him that yes. Rotzolome im bala fanenu lishal ein merin lei lechatchila. Vim also me atzma. But if he initiates it himself, ein moichin biyade. You don't have to stop him. Shemi yistapik because we made a gazera that we don't the reason why we don't pass him outright is because shemi yistapik. But alpha gav didn't had locker lei osr mishum zeh. Because he's inspecting and he's very close to the oil, there's a concern that he might come and take some of the oil. So we said that in the last year, the Ramos says that you should, you should try to make sure that the kids are not undressed in front of the Nehra Shabbos because of Bizui Mitzvah. Uh, Kasha, he says it's difficult to understand. There's a separate issue, even not on Shabbos, I think. This is a kufi base. You shouldn't. The kids shouldn't be in a state of undress um, near uh, naked flames because they might come to nichbe, which is a, they might develop epilepsy. So the near lechalik being caught in the gadol. I guess that means you've got to differentiate between young children and older children. I think that's the answer. Just a very an interesting point. What, what about if you want to change your child's diaper, a nappy? In front of the Shabbos candles, you know they're, they're, they're sitting there in the dining room. Are you allowed to change it? So says the he says in thirty six, just a short, interesting footnote. It's the second paragraph. Well, 
Das ha gonor misen karadet she yamid hu atzmei kehefsik ben aneris tetinek. You position yourself in between the candles and the child. That she beifen ze ein hadova nechshav be bizu aneris. For limrois she erem this bashit gonor sodim. True, the the light of the candles will come round. But if you are sitting in between of uh, your child and the aneris, that would be okay. Okay, atkan. That is the end of uh, that simile.